Hello, do you have any community concerns? Whee! Hello, YouTubers, this is Anubifire. We're continuing with this new series that's becoming a full-time playlist. Your feedback actually liked the name Community Concerns, so it's what we're gonna go with. It will allow me to expand into Reddit and other sources if needed. So I'm going to say that Spectrum is known as being a bit of a salty echo chamber where a vocal few wage intellectual battle. It's aggressively moderated and you can expect the widest range in opinion from the white knight care bears all the way to the haters. I look for the well-presented topics that present a valid question or concern. And it's important for you to comment your comments here so that we can get a wider opinion on my opinions presented. I'm going to post links to all the threads in the description. Let's begin. Uh, I promised last time that I would cover the uproar about the ion. There are so many posts that after reading most of them, they all seem to have the same basic concerns which I will discuss. This is not the first time that CIG has done this, what is seen as shady marketing ship concepts. I believe the first one was the Sabre launch all the way back in 2016, patch 212. That was the closest thing to a concept of flight release where there was a 30 day delay from the ship sale to when we actually had it in our hands. This delay was only there because there was no Delta patcher and we needed to wait for the next release. You can see this trend throughout. A strong release, great sales numbers, dominating in AC and PVP, and then a bit of a nerf, a bit more, and then we see a new meta emerge. CIG wants there to be no meta because it's a game, but they're building ships and adding them more like reality than a game asset. And I could probably make a separate video just on the balance, which I might. So we saw the Vanguard come and dominate, and then it was nerfed, the Prowler, the Arrow, the Defender, the Hurricane. So why did the Ion piss everyone off more than standard? It has to do with the nerf being so publicly announced and that announcement so clearly going against some of the design documentation. Should buyers be upset with the bait and switch? Yes. Is it their fault? Is it the buyer's fault? Well, the buyers are the adults with a credit card. So ultimately, yes, you bought it. But CIG is known for using predatory tactics in marketing to sell ships. So why do we keep showing them to keep doing it by constantly breaking funding records? It is their fault too though. I'm not shocked and I'm disappointed as this was more blatant than normal. Concept ship brochures and ship literature have lore baked into them. It's important to know that. They were written as if we're in the future and this brochure was on the table in a showroom. Liberties are always taken in the writing and I think that might be part of the issue. Do we take it at face value or disregard it? But then, how do we choose? Q&As are a good start, but I'm going to tell you, there's never been a rush to buy anything in this game. We've been waiting for 10 years and ships are always on sale, lately even less expensive than the concept when changed CCUs are used. So I'm going to end there with not much of an answer really, more of an overview of the events leading up to the issue. Why are we buying ships now? Right? Okay. Next, Richard Bird asked where the letter of the chairman was. The entire string of replies was basically a funny read of memes and possible excuses as to why it's missing this year. Knight Rider moderated it closed, suggesting that it was going to degrade, but the question is valid. Where's Chris? And I've just asked this recently in some other videos, so I think it's a valid question. Next, Craig Bennett II wanted to know if a ship purchase was a pledge or a product. And they were fed up with the community just telling people, don't forget that it's just a pledge, not a product. Likely spurred on by the Odyssey, the Ion, and other disappointments in the past. Craig, it's Spectrum. You can't expect to navigate it without walking through a couple prickly bushes. Jizza, yes, that's the name they chose to call themselves when they made an account, had a really well-written post with a ton of research. They stated that the legal text implies that RSI isn't liable to produce anything in this transaction but then also listed some rights that a buyer has to counteract RSI's own disclaimer. The discussion was very good back and forth, but ultimately I feel that Beardrub came up with the most compelling argument, and that was the words on the buttons that you click in the store when making the transaction are important. Buying options, add to cart, and checkout. What are your thoughts? Are you buying something? Are you donating money into the wind? And if so, what are people being taxed on? Blah, 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 blah. I want to hear what you think. Revelay 12 posted a simple question that became a spicy thread about how insane it is that there is a $40,000 game package. I don't care. Maybe I'm just numb. 
You guys know that I feel that you are the ones with the credit cards and are responsible for your own actions. It looks very alarming to a new citizen who may be interested in the game. And as I found out this week, to even see that pack, you must have already spent $10,000 in game. It is what it is, people, but the link thread is actually a fun read. Next, Captain BTAC created a post that none of the events were non-PVP focused. 131 replies of good debate back and forth, but ultimately many agreed this is mostly a true statement and that it's okay. They did reply that many of these events have non-PVP portions and mining and running cargo are missions that you can always grind all the time. Space Chris said that actual Chris, like Citizen 1, is on record from the start that SC would be a PVP universe, so it makes sense that the big ticket items would actually focus on PVP. Is there a need for large scale missions for cargo or mining, or is it better just to wait for one of these mechanics to be better refined? <laughs> you see what I did there? I'm gonna end on the one that lit Spectrum ablaze this entire week. There were numerous threads and posts on the same general subject. Great debate back and forth, and this is that the CIG marketing team is completely out of touch. One such thread was from Revela 12. Wonder Sprite went a little bit further into the specifics and Surera made a list of observed issues and fixes. I invite you to check out any of the new videos that I had. I'm not and I never expect anything because over nine years of hoping, I'm now numb and this is my coping mechanism. This is not a good state to need to be in and I would love it if CIG would stop this cycle of CIG does something, we get pissed off, they backpedal, they change something and then the subject dies off. Fix the issue on the front end. Think about how the community will receive the next thing that you're about to do by either being in tune with the community or finding someone or some group of community members who are in tune with the community and get their feedback before you do something. Do actual market research. Half a billion dollar project, 4 million community members, and 5 total misses in the last 45 days of 2021. I sound like I'm ranting. I'm not. But the Odyssey, Ion, Cuddy Steel, the 12 days of JPEG Blunder, and No Chris, I think that this summarizes the 20 or so threads that I've read through. And I'm going to end positive by saying that it's not all salt on spectrum. There were a couple of well-written posts thanking the team for their efforts this year, and it's important to see the forest from the trees to step back and not focus all the time on the little small stuff without seeing the whole. We're at the end of this week's Spectrum Rundown. Do you have any suggestions on how I can improve? Comment your comments in the comments. Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I work hard to entertain and inform. Can you please support by spreading the word and sharing the content with others? That helps more than you might think. Half of the views here come from community members who are not yet subscribed. And if you enjoy the content, please consider changing that as we go into 2022. Fly safe and I'll see you in the verse.